Hey, what's up? This is Brent Pierce for PremiumBeat.com, and today we're going to talk about doing some very cool cinematography moves, some very cool camera moves uh, with the slider. Now, I recently released a short, and some people were asking uh, about how to do a certain shot at the beginning. It's basically a push in and a Dutch angle onto the subject. A Dutch angle is kind of like an angle like this. It's not a tilt or a pan, but it's, it's a, an angle like that. And a lot of people are asking how to do it, and it's really easy to do it with a video head. Um, so I'm going to show y'all how to do it. Now here I have a slider. This is a Cinevate Atlas 10 slider. A very nice smooth slider for DSLRs. Uh, I have a light stand on each side to stabilize it, and I have some sandbags down at the feet to make sure you don't wobble. Now the move is basically we're going to go into this tree here, and there's bugs on the tree. That's what we're going to be focusing on. And we're going to push in, and then we're going to do a Dutch angle about 90 degrees like that. That's the move. So in order to do a Dutch angle on a video head, you're going to have to change your quick release plate. You're going to have to turn it 90 degrees because you don't want to insert your camera straight. You basically want to insert your camera sideways like that so you can get the nice Dutch angle like that. So I'm going to turn it 90 degrees to the left. And there you go. So now the quick release plate is 90 degrees sideways. So instead of putting the camera on straight onto the head, we're basically putting it in sideways into the head. Lock that down, and now you can see how our move is gonna work. We're gonna start back here, we're gonna push in, and then we're gonna do a Dutch angle like that. As simple as that. Now, it is a very simple move, but there is one key factor that you have to keep in mind, and that is focus. If that's my focus point back here, I'm gonna be in focus, but when I get all the way up here, uh, I'm gonna be out of focus. So a key point is to make sure that you are focused. So in order for us to do that, we are gonna have a helping hand from a camera assistant. This is my good buddy Clayton Stringer coming out of the tree there and he's going to have his hand on the lens and he's going to focus onto those locusts as we push in. Now an ideal situation would be to have an external monitor where the AC could look at to make sure their focus is spot on, but we know not everyone has access to an external monitor or a viewfinder or an EVF or whatever, so we're just going to do it straight in camera. It is completely doable like that. So we're going to get our ending point and make sure we are locked off for our ending point. And yeah, so we're going to start back here, and we are just going to try it out. If it works, it works. If not, if not. Um, but it is going to take some practice. It's going to take a lot of repetition. You're going to have to get it because that focus pull is honestly the hardest part about this move. But with practice, uh, you will get it. So let's go ahead and start here. And action. And there you go. That's basically the gist of the move. Remember, you're pushing in and you're doing the Dutch angle there. You can try to do it on your own. You can try to do the focus pull and the Dutch angle on your own if you're up for it, but it's always easier with a helping hand again. So yeah, anyways, that's a great shot. That's a cool little dramatic shot uh, that will catch the viewer's attention. And yeah, while I have this slider out, I'm gonna show y'all another tip. So we talked a little bit about how you can turn the quick release plate 90 degrees and get some cool movements. We're gonna hang on to that technique and we're gonna do a little bit more with this slider. Now most of the time slider movements are just straight horizontal like this and they look awesome, but what if you wanna get an angled shot? Now I did a shot in that short where it was angled. It started up here and it kinda angled behind some, some leaves um, onto the runner and that was really cool and some people asked how to do that as well. So this is how you do it. Now I have a setup here. This is a tripod with a tripod head and then the slider, and then another head, which the camera right here sits on top. Um, and that's great for horizontal movements, and these two heads allow a lot more movement if you wanna adjust anything. So we're gonna use this setup, and put the camera down. We're gonna use this setup, and we're gonna use that same technique by turning the quick release plate. This time, we're gonna take the whole slider off. This is a quick release plate. We're gonna turn the quick release plate 90 degrees again. Okay, so we turn the quick release plate 90 degrees sideways. So again, instead of going straight onto the head like that, we are going sideways like this. So now this allows us to get, if we loosen our tilt on our bottom head, this allows us to get the angled uh, slider like that. And I'll turn it so you can see it like that. So if I go this way, now you can see that we're gonna get some cool slides like that, pretty neat. Okay, so this allows us to get a cool angled slide like that, which is what we're wanting. But as you can see, if we put a camera on this head, we're gonna be angled while we're going down. So how do we fix that? Well, let me grab the camera. So again, we don't wanna put it straight on, we want to Dutch tilt it. Well, how we talked about a second ago, uh, Dutch tilting is as simple as turning the plate 90 degrees again. So we're gonna do that right now. 
All right, so the quick release plate on my camera is now 90 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and insert this, like this, into my tripod. Now our tilt feature becomes a dutch. So we can do that, and now we're parallel with the ground. If we loosen our slider, you can do that, and that is honestly, that's basically it. Uh, it's gonna have to be really sturdy, so make sure your head is nice and solid. Make sure it's locked down really tight. If you have sandbags, use them. If you have any extra additional people on set, have them hold the tripod legs down, have them hold the slider to make sure it's really steady because um, the more weight you put on a slider, the more wobbly it's gonna be and you do not want that. So the basic move is this. Now that we're parallel to the ground, again, make sure everything is tight and make sure this is tight also. Now that we're parallel to the ground, the basic move, you can either go up like that or you can do opposite, go down like that. So I'm gonna have my lovely wife walk in front of this tree. I'm gonna move a little bit behind the tree and we're gonna get a little shot and see how it looks. Okay, so we dropped the tripod down. We're behind a tree. It's always important that you have a nice foreground element when you're doing dollies because then you can really tell it's a dolly and then you can get that really big parallax movement there. So we got a nice angle. Our camera is perfectly parallel to the ground. And uh, since I'm so low to the ground, uh, my tripod is actually really sturdy. So I can, I, can eat, I can do this with one hand and it's turning out really good. So make sure that this is sturdy or low to the ground. Make sure you got good, uh, good hands up here doing your thing. And yeah, so my wife's back there. She's gonna walk across the frame so we have something to look at. And let's check this shot out. And action. And cut. There you go, that simple, nice little angle dolly. Add production value, horizontal dollies are great, but if you add a couple angle dollies in, uh, that will definitely turn some heads to your videos. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next episode.